So this is kind of the poem you'll never hear. Your anniversary has passed, and they say that pain is temporary, that it won't last. Yet that doesn't explain the lump in my throat bubbling inside me, manifesting, hoping to release a stream of unending tears. This poem isn't about heartbreak. Yes, there was love involved. Seventh grade silly confessions of I like you, telling the teachers that it doesn't matter if it doesn't last forever, because we thought we had forever. This poem is not about bitterness. I am not angry. I am simply overwhelmed, not used to feeling as much as I do when I think about what you did. This poem is about absence. It's about someone pointing a gun to their head and whispering goodbye, no longer wanting to try, thinking dad wouldn't care, mom wouldn't care, no one would care, but someone did. This summer, a girl in my summer school class said that at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Depression is just sadness. Shrugged her shoulders and leaned back. I wanted to scream, I wanted to shout, wanted to ask her if she felt sad enough to rip off stitches of her own scars just to make new ones for the sake of attempting to control her own pain. Ask her if she's laid in a hospital bed for two weeks with an IV stuck to her arm because she refused to eat, didn't believe she deserved to eat. I wanted to tell her that your name was Michael, a young boy with a big heart who loved chocolate chips and painting. But your parents were divorced and you felt like a lost child, determined to find yourself in a world of uncaring adults. Once who told you that your story wasn't original when all you wanted to do was matter. Sometimes if I, I feel as if I had been there, been with you, let you braid my hair one last time and tell me how nappy it was. While we left at how happy we were, it wouldn't have happened or it wouldn't have hurt as much. That the call I received on a hot summer day my freshman year in a new town would have caused a lot less of a sting. That my tears wouldn't have been as heavy, my chest not as heaving as it was. That I wouldn't have spent hours crying on the phone with Liz until I couldn't breathe. Had to lay down on the floor and convince us, convince myself that it was fine when it clearly wasn't. But what's done is done. Your anniversary is halfway done and halfway renewed. And as I call Haley and Meg and Liz, and we bond over memories of you, I wish it hadn't been so soon.